Here is how you use the Siri in iPhone. And I'll also cover what to do if you're getting the old Siri, so we can have the new you know, Siri 2.0 or the AI Siri. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So first of all, let's open settings, then general, and then about. And so what we first of all need to meet is the iOS version requirement. If you have the iOS version 18.0 or iOS 18.0.1, these don't support the Apple intelligence. So you need to go onto the iOS 18.1. The second requirement is you need iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max or any of the iPhone 16 series to get the Apple Intelligence or Siri 2.0. So if you just see iPhone 15 without a Pro, then your iPhone's not supported, and all the older iPhones are stuck forever on the old Siri. So that's just something you need to keep in mind. Now here is the problem. How do we get iOS 18.1? How do we get the Apple Intelligence? Even though you know this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's on iOS 18.1, but I have old Siri. So first of all, to get iOS 18.1, we head into the software update and we look for iOS 18.1 or newer. And so if the update is available, you update to it. If you don't see any iOS 18.1, like I don't see on this device, then what you need to do is you need to head into beta updates and you need to turn on iOS 18 developer beta so we'll turn that one on and then you'll get the iOS 18.1. You need to manually enable the beta updates in your iPhone settings using a website. It's Apple's website, but I'll have a video on how to do that in the description. It takes literally one minute, free to do, really easy. And so you just update to the iOS 18.1 beta if you want to get Apple intelligence now, or you can just wait until the software releases. Another thing I would like to note is Apple Intelligence at the moment is available in the US now and in October 2024 it officially releases. In the UK it officially releases December 2024 and in other countries it's mid 2025. The EU will not be getting Apple Intelligence. Now I am not inside of the US but I have Apple Intelligence. This iPhone here does not have Apple Intelligence. So we do need to turn on Apple Intelligence by opening up Settings. And then we look for Apple Intelligence. And there should be an on toggle. Now the problem is, you can see I have an error saying Apple Intelligence is not available, but on this iPhone it is. So if this is your daily driver iPhone, you want to use Apple Intelligence 4, and you're not in the US, you're not in the UK, then I would only recommend, you know, doing the steps I'm about to show if this is a spare iPhone. So this is my spare, I mean, sounds weird, but this is a spare iPhone 15 Pro Max and, you know, I can turn on Apple Intelligence. This is my UK iPhone 15 Pro Max, my personal one, I cannot turn it on. So if you want to turn on Apple Intelligence now, you don't want to wait for official support, then what we can first of all try is we'll head into our general settings and then we will look for language and region and you want to try and set this region to United States. If you do this, it's going to make it so your Apple Pay stops working. So if you use Apple Pay, this is why you don't want to do this. Once you set your region to US here, you want to go back into Apple Intelligence and set the Siri language to English United States as well. Once this is done, if you have the option to apply and turn on Apple Intelligence, then that's great. However, because I have my Apple account with, you know, paid login, with all that stuff, it still doesn't let me turn on Apple Intelligence here. So if you do want to use Apple Intelligence still, this is why I say you may want to do this on a spare iPhone. It's because your Apple ID has a payment method and it's in the wrong country. And so what you'd have to do is you'd have to actually sign out of iCloud 
So you'd have to sign out, which means, you know, you have your iMessage, you have all that stuff. You're gonna lose data temporarily. You can always log back in to get it. And then you head to appleid.apple.com and then we'll tap the lines here. And uh, we need to create a brand new Apple ID, which is set to United States and also has age of 18 plus. So you just enter in your information here. Under phone number, you can use, or you have to use your real country phone number. If it asks for address, you'd search for a fake address generator US, and then you would use the you know, United States fake address information so that you can complete your Apple ID using the United States region. And then you'd sign into that Apple ID like this, and then you'd be good to go. You could also change your country or region of your existing Apple ID to the United States. However, if you have subscriptions, if you have a, you know, a payment method added, you do not want to do that because that will cause a ton of problems. So if you do want to do that, maybe, you know, you're younger, you don't have a card, you just open App Store, you tap your name at the top right. We then are going to tap on our Apple account. And then under country or region, you tap on this one. Uh, and then you can, you know, go in here, you can change your region to United States. And you just use that US fake address you enter in there. And so this is just how Apple has made it. They've kind of artificially blocked who can use this feature, who cannot. There's nothing that I can do in my end to help you get this feature if you don't have it. But if you do have this feature and it's on, you can long press the power button, you get that new animation, you can ask any request you would like. Um, you know, you also have other Apple intelligence, like you have cleanup in the Photos app, uh, so you can like, you know, remove background, do all this cool stuff. It's really great. And um, yeah, so hopefully this video helped. It's confusing because Apple have made this confusing.